A mother is trying to bring awareness tonight after her daughter was swept away swimming at Emerald Isle. You might remember Paige Marisol and Ian Lewis were both killed while swimming last month. And now Paige's mom is turning her pain into purpose. Colleen Quigley has more. Her smile was just as big as, as big as the moon and the sun. Four weeks ago, Susie Miracle got the phone call no parent wants to get. She was only there one hour, and they went and jumped in the beach. They didn't know that it had been rough that day. Her 17-year-old daughter, Paige, a Wake Forest High School senior, on an overnight trip with friends to the Emerald Isle. My phone rang, and it said, Paige calling. And I answered the phone, and this lady began telling me that they were working on my daughter, that she had drowned. And Oh, they were trying to get her to breathe again, and I remember uh, just all I could think of to say was, is she breathing, is she breathing? Paige and her friend Ian had been swept out by a rip current. Crews rescued Paige and rushed her to the hospital. We were just frantic. Susie and her husband raced to be by Paige's side. So we just started talking to her and just sat there. We never, I never left her side for eight days. And, um... I prayed so hard. I tried and prayed every day for 42 years to be a mom. Uh. <laughs> and finally, God gave her to me, and it was such a blessing. Ultimately, doctors declared Paige brain dead. She's like this miracle. It looks like her last name. She was just, just everything to us, and we couldn't, we couldn't lose her. And I think that's why I'm fighting so hard now. It doesn't have to end up like ours did. Now, Susie wants to warn people about the danger in the water. In the four weeks since Paige and Ian's accident, three others died after being pulled out by rip currents off the Carolina coast. And there's been a Marine and then uh, two more people this week. And if we don't do something, it's going to be horrible. Susie and her husband are starting a campaign called Don't Fight the Rip, Float With It to educate people on how to survive a rip current. The way to, to get safely out of a rip tide is just relax, flip over on your back, and it, you'll float out of it. And then you can go to the shore. They hope to carry on Paige's legacy. But she was loud, she was opinionated, which was great with me. But she was sweet and kind. And maybe save someone else's life. Colleen Quigley, CBS 17 News. Yesterday, hundreds of people came to Atlantic Beach to honor 24-year-old Austin Potter and 5-year-old Ian Peoples. The pair died in a rip current earlier this week. Ian and Austin went out into the water. The 5-year-old got caught up in a rip current. Austin tried to save him, but he couldn't. Both drowned. Friends and family spoke about the pair last night, saying both are together in heaven.